Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Chakodash. And of course, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well. Peace and salutation to all sincere Achim that are there, of course, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this truth. And of course, those that are diligently seeking the face of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in all truth and sincerity. Shemia Amafpa, my name is Amafpa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp. Located here in the city of Philadelphia, coming again with another lesson in the Chakodash, which is the Holy Spirit. Ma'amath of truth, in which we have this current subject, which is protest. Protest. And that is what we will be analyzing today, which. I'm going to go into it on etymology and just start off. Protest. We have it, of course, a solemn declaration. Declare publicly. You got it there. That, of course, from the old French. Protest. Protit. Uh, from pre o tester directly from the Latin pro testare declare publicly testify protest forth before for hence in front of a before meaning a statement of disapproval and you have it where there's a a a serious assembly of people whom are in protest against many of the different injustices that are done in the world due to the wicked ruling who is of course Esau Edom which we know is the so called white man okay they are actually the wicked those elite which rule the earth go back to Esau Edom they are the wicked which the Bible speak of in the book of Job chapter 9 and 24 which it says the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked he covers the faces of the judges thereof you know if not who is he roughly paraphrasing you have it where the people are in a completely angered state in which they are very upset with the various issues which comes with living life under a wicked ruler a tyrant which is Esau Edom so we have these different protests which there's many of them that are occurring at this current time just to note when I go to this on the Google um Particularly, I believe this was uh, um, posted in our group chat. It says Iraq protests Iran, and you have it here. I'm just gonna click it. Three hours ago, it says here, and this is off of Fox News. We got Al Jazeera, and then I'm gonna just pick the Fox News and one, which it says Iraq protests descend into bloodshed as activists say Iran making them strangers in our own country so you have it where of course when we read into it it says that a small window of calm settled in the Baghdad streets on Sunday following five days of violent protests but at dusk in the mayhem ricocheted once again through the Iraq capital in southern city cities with a clear message from civilians cut the corruption and provide essential services and get Iran and its proxy out of the government so you have these protests which it says protests are being burnt with hot mayim or uh, mayim hum which is water hot 
tear gas and by live fire. We are poor people. And the Iranian back, which Iranian go back to the Persians, which are Elam or Ayalam in the Hebrew, which means young. It says, or it says the Iranian back militias are doing this to us. And they are even coming to the hospitals to kill the wounded protesters. Abaz Naji, a 24, who previously walked in a hospital or a hospitality in the southern city of Nasir, Syria, but for four years has never been able to find a job, told Fox News. We Iraqis are against the existence of militias because they are a danger to us and they are deemed are determined to continue this movement because we need jobs and we need our service improved okay and you have of course with um, Iraq we know that they have a whole what invasion by the United States government of uh, Iraq you know, and of course, uh, you going to, um, I believe you're going back into the previous leaders, uh, leaders such as, let me just go and check real quick. One moment. This is a leader here. Which is Saddam Hussein, which he was a former president of Iraq. All right, and of course they had a, a what invasion? Okay, in 2003, a coalition led by the United States invaded Iraq to dispose Saddam, in which the U.S. President Donald, or <laughs> not Donald Trump, but George W. Bush and British Prime Minister Tony Blair er uh, erroneously accused him of possessing weapons of mass destruction. So you have, of course, that beast, NATO, all right? And, of course, U.S. and, of course, um, you have it. The beast consists, of course, NATO, the EU, okay, which the United States is a member of NATO. And you have, of course... British, okay, <laughs> which is the EU, the current EU state at this time, and I believe uh, Britain is a part of, uh, we want to, uh, if I can check real quick. NATO countries. Okay, so you have, uh, well, that's the front founding ones, but I want to see what the current ones are. Yeah, present, you got the tw 29. Yeah, United yeah, Britain would be as as the United Kingdom is a part, of course, of NATO. All right, just so that you know. I just want to go and check that information. Now let's go back to that actual excerpt which I was reading. You had a, uh, the United States government with uh, Britain, uh, of course, under false pre tents invade Iraq which when you go into it as it's going to read it says that they accuse him I mean Saddam Hussein which is leader by former read uh, leader of Iraq of possessing weapons of mass destruction right which is a you have here uh Basically, you go into chemical weapons stockpile, yeah, you know, biological nuclear weapon program, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Weapons of national mass destruction, and having ties to Al Qaeda, 
which is a so-called terrorist group. <laughs> and let's go on. It says Saddam. But that's basically it right there. Okay. Just to bring out a little bit of, you know, information. Okay. And of course, you know, you had occup occupation of uh, the United States government in that country. And let me see. That's what, back 2003 was that that invasion began. Let me see. I can, I can go and check that information real quick, too. Let me check that. I can see if I can pull that up. U.S. Occupation. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got this U.S. Occupation in Iraq. I am... I wanted to see if I could find something current, but I believe it's just to the present, but I can just go and check. And they have this on Wikipedia, got all this information. Had the U.S. Uh, led coalition sent uh, about 177 hundred thousand troops to, into Iraq during the initial invasion phase and lasted from nine, March of 19 to to May 2003. Um, I believe there's still troops that stationed there, but I mean I have to go and check in that information. So, uh, of course, don't quote me on that right now. Um, like, I want to say, let me see, 2003. But I'm going to just do another lesson on that. I'll go and check our, and I'll just go and check that information up again because I don't want to, of course, give out any false information. But we know that, of course. You know, Esau Edom neither he not, he doesn't his desires hell and you know we know that of course he don't keep at home. Okay, he's in every country, you know, in the world and such, pretty much with different bases, military bases spread out throughout the world. Of course he got hidden uh intelligence, you know, he's gathering and a lot of the different protests are actually um, f pseudo protests and such false in, in certain cases where they actually are set up just to bring forth the new agenda of the USA, the NWO, also known as the New World Order, all right, which Esau Edom is pushing towards. So, you know, going back to this whole protest. You have many of these protests that happen over the world. You have in Hong Kong, they got protests there. Which th this is an article published on September 19th here at Kragma. It says, anti-government protests have rocked Hong Kong for months and the situation has no signs of dying down. To bring you up to date, here's the background, what you need to know. Hong Kong protests start in June against proposals to allow extradite, extradition to mainland China. It says critics fear this could undermine the city's judicial independence and endanger dissidents or di dissidents, yeah. And a formal former British colony, Hong Kong, right, has some amount of aut autonomy and more rights than the mainland under a one country, two system deal. So you have division within these different heathen nations and stuff, all right? And then you have, you know, as this is going into, how did protests escalate? Protesters feared the bill, 
Okay. Which they have the extradition bill, which triggered the first protest, was introduced in April and allowed for criminal for criminal suspects to be extradited to mainland China under certain circumstances. So this is the whole issue about you know one state. Okay. Um, of course, when you deal with extraditing. Let me see, I believe that's like... Where you hand over someone who's uh, accused of a crime. So, of course, sending somebody accused of a crime to another, of course, place. Okay, say if, if you were, you did a crime somewhere in another state. And then you're, of course, presently in another state. Say like you was in Atlanta, you did a crime in Pennsylvania. Um, there's cases where, of course, the, the, the of course, the state would, would extradite you if they catch you, caught you up. You know, they, of course, have, the state will ask the other state if they can, you know, send you to that other state so you can, of course, go through, through your various trial. Okay. So, of course, this is brought out different protests and such, as you can see here in Hong Kong, okay, uh, to in mainland China, you know, that's the the whole issue, you know, about this whole extradition per, uh, process and such, okay, he says by the, 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 the thin clashes between the police and the, and the protesters, it had became more frequent and more violent with injuries on both sides and scores of people being arrested, it says bricks, let me see where it says bricks, it says police had fire actually sake tear glass rubber bullets with some activists thrown bricks fire bombs and other objects in july protesters stormed parliament defacing parts of it so they destroying the government also in uh meaning the buildings also in july mass mob armed with sticks suspected to be triad gangsters assaulted pro-democracy protesters and passed uh, the yuang long station from the city center what the protesters want, they want um, the man changed for several weeks. This include withdrawal from the riot description used about the protest am amnesty for all arrested protesters, and independent inquiry to, into p alleged police brutality, universal suffrage for election. Okay, so you just see this a bunch of mourning, all right, from the people and such. Okay. So, you know, it gives a little bit of information, you know, on uh, Hong Kong and such. It says it has its own judicial, judiciary, and separate legal system from mainland China. Those rights include freedom of assembly and freedom of speech are protected. All right, so, you know, you have that. Just wanted to cover that. Let me see what else we got. So I can, I can close that window. Of course, you got various um, protests with the Great Britain with the Brexit. Um, Brit Britain leaving the EU. You have various. Uh, I believe there's a, a protest that happened in um, Edinburgh, Scotland. Lord D. You see uh, protests in Scotland. Right, and, and that I believe, you know, that they, of course, with that, that's the whole situation between the Brexit, which you have some, of course, one with Scotland, they, of course, voted to remain within the EU, but you have it where they had the referendum where, you know, as a whole, um, you go into it, United Kingdom voted to, to leave the EU. You know, but of course you have many that know that Britain is going to suffer economically when they leave that whole partnership of being within the EU, which you had, of course, uh, that being an extension. That's basically the, the Roman Empire coming back, okay? So it says here, 
Let me see what I have. I have a different one. Scottish, this is this one right here. It has those in march in support of Scottish independent, you know, basically going for an indie, indie referendum and such. Just thousand people marched through Edinburgh in support of Scottish independence. There was a carnival atmosphere as they waved flags and banners from Holy 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 Rood Park at, to rally in the metals. Okay, it says jo Joanna Sherry of the SNP, that's the Scottish National Party MP, who led the legal fight against Boris Johnson's decision to suspend Parliament. You have, I mean, this goes into how uh, the current Prime Minister who took in for succeeded to Theresa May because Theresa May quit because she brought forth a Brexit deal to, and didn't get it passed through Parliament. You have, of course, Esau being a house div divided that many want to remain and others want to stay. There's a bunch of confusion when you get into this whole Brexit bloody shambles which is going on. It says early Nicola Surgeon, she's a, I believe she's the first minister, Nicola Surgeon of Scotland. I believe that's her title. Uh, let me see. Scottish politician, first minister of Scotland, right? Leader of the, of the SNP, Scottish National Party, right? And she's a woman. <laughs> uh, set to say she would march in spirit, but not in person. Be in dope, no dope. Uh, independence is coming. All right, so you know you have that. You know they want if they want, of course, leave and exit the um become independent outside of course the great uh you have it the united kingdom okay that as uh the other of course said as well that's another be another fulfillment of the daniel's prophecy of of course uh the, you have it where this uh this this eu okay breaking up okay which, I, you know, I do a lot of different mess, uh, lessons on, you know, uh, but, you know, we're just going to keep it simple for this one right now. Okay, just, uh, you know, you have, as it's saying, it says, you had, for this one, it's claimed as over 200,000 people took part in the event. So that's a lot of people there, you know, in Edinburgh. Okay. You can see it, you know, some of them got the, you know, the old rampant lion and the flag. And you got, you know, the current uh, the flag with the cross on there. So, you know, you have people then they bothered about the whole Brexit debate and such. But, like, it's speaking is about this particular chick. She's saying that she has backed the Scottish independence since she was a child. And he has the 34 year old from Edinburgh say, I'm here to support the cause for independence. To be honest, after the last referendum, I was a bit deflated and disenfranchised. And I was, was not going or no going to be a part, taking part anymore. So, you know, you have a lot of people just like, they losing faith in their shite government. And just whoever. She said in a recent trip to the west coast of Scotland, re inspired her, and she decided to join Saturday's march. She continued, and that's just these people with their nationalism and such, you know, Scots and such. Yeah, it says she continued, I've not really, no bit, or no bit, been really caught up. In the whole de Brexit debate, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered about it or about that. It says, but I, I am for another independence ref, you know, indie ref, as soon as possible. It should have been ages ago. And that's what she said. <laughs> you know, trying to say a little wee bit in the Scottish tongue. It says a heat of her speech at the rally, Joanna Cherry, the MP, described the event as the party as from a grassroots supporters of an independence movement. And she told BBC Scotland, I'm, I'm there expecting 
anyone's minds to be changed on the independence today it says that's done by conversations on the doorsteps but this is one opportunity for a yes movement to all together in celebration and despite the rain I think there has been a fantastic turn it says earlier this year Nicola Sturgeon said she would demand Holyrood was given the power to hold a second referendum on independence the SNP is expected to put its opposition to Brexit and its desire for another poll at the center of its manifesto in the event of a snap election now they have different uh, ways they want to get Boris Johnson out. You know, you have, of course, he's a leader of the conservative party at the time. And you have it, he he believes, he says we're going to leave, or mean that the Great Britain is going to leave the EU on the 31st of October this year. And then you have it where this whole issue where they pass certain bills and such, you know, which would restrict that. Okay. And you have it where he's saying we're, you know, we just keep claiming we're gonna leave regardless. So you have a lot of the different, and as what it says, total discord between, you know, different um, political parties within, you know, the, the part, the, the actual House of Parliament and such. You know, you have people, of course, quit, and when you go into it as a whole with this whole Brexit debates and such, a lot of people quit. Um, a lot of people. Of course, form different new parties too from being resigning from previous parties and such. Um, and it's just it's just a bloody shambles, you know, when you go into it. It says, but Boris Johnson outlined his opposition to the plan of the Conservative Party conference, claiming more referendums would cause a total national discord. You know, so you know different elections and such. All right. You know, he basically you got like the labor, the labor leader Jeremy Corbyn. He don't don't want to. Like he have at times he don't want a election, then he wants an election. You know, and he want he want definitely wants to stay. So you got like Scotland. <laughs> they they're doing they're trying to team up the different Scottish MPs with the um, S and I believe Scottish National Party. They want to you know basically try to make a plan to to vote. To try try to get Jeremy Corbyn in or some election if they could have it to get Jeremy Corbyn in just so that they can you know maybe have a shot at pass getting a pass you know a pass for a another ND ref or something like that but I mean it's a whole this is a whole nother thing so you know as you see national total national discord okay so that's that's two articles you know you can I, I brought about different protests and there's many other protests that's going on in the war world and such so we're just gonna get to the, the scriptures okay and um, go from there we're gonna go in the book of the well the book of the Apocrypha, which is part of the original King James 1611 Bible uh, we're gonna go to 13th chapter or actually she did 14 chapter possibly let me see where I'm gonna start yeah 13 and I'll start at uh, let me see I may start around 23 let's, let me see let's go Alright, this is a second edge of chapter 13 and 23. It says here, He that shall endure the peril in that time hath kept himself. They that be fallen into danger are such as have works and faith towards the Almighty. Now this therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be dead. Because we will be... Lord willing, ones that what see and you know be living in the times that um, many prophets wanted to you know see the day that we're in, you know the end of the age. Okay, 
Though of course you gotta have the dead that died in this truth will come back. You know, and uh, be in the chariots. You know, when uh, Yahweh Shai comes back. Let me see if I can find a precept. Sure, if it's this scripture, Second Peter thirteen and twelve. Let me see. It's a precept though about speaking about it. Uh, I don't have it on the top right now. Right in the new, so. Um, you know, Lord willing, I'll get it uh, some other time and, and bring it out. But it's another uh, thing that's written in the scriptures. A word that's written in the scriptures. Alright, so it says, and I'm just going to continue on. It says, this is the meaning of it. Alright, so let me go down now. I'm going to go down to uh, verse 13. Verse 29. It says, Behold, the days come when the Most High will de begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. That's, of course, the Most High City, Yahweh Shai, back to deliver the election of the nation of Israel. Out of this captivity which we're in, to restore the kingdom unto Israel. Alright, it says, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. So the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, as is written. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another, which realm goes into... When you look it up in the etymology online, if you have it, it goes into the kingdom. Okay. And you have kingdom right there for realm. Right? Old French. Realm. Probably from realm. Kingdom. Altered by influence of Latin. Uh, regalis. Which means regal. A system of government, a rule. Okay, and you're going to have as well. You're gonna have different. You know, you're gonna have spirits and apparitions. Okay, it's gonna be let loose here in the um in this time. What we're gonna be approach, what we're closely approaching, which is the time of Jacob trouble and all the twelve tribes of Israel. We're gonna see a time in which they never seen before and never been since the earth has been huh. I must note Slaki, I must note that other nations are obviously going to be a part of this too but it's all about of course Israel so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Israelite foreigners those that have been scattered through the dispersed through the various nations that lineage still go back by the way of fathers to Israelites okay and of course can determine who they are like through the spirit so, um, going back, you know, the, the scriptures speak of these various protests, okay, occurring, okay, where you have different civil unrest, people against one people, okay, one realm against another, okay, one city against another, 
kingdoms against another. And even Ur Pur, which is Yahweh Shai, he spoke of these things. Okay. In which the things were written before time were written for learning. So we're reading of these things, being forewarned so that we know and measure the time that we're in. So that it doesn't, of course, catch up or catch us as a thief in the night. Okay. You gotta be, of course, in the light and, of course, not in the darkness, being in ignorance. Or you have to be in the light having this wisdom and understanding all right so we're gonna go to the book of just to make I'm gonna just keep this pretty pretty just clear to the point I don't want to hold it up too much this uh, is also Isaiah chapter 13 And it speaks uh, here, Isaiah 13 and 14. It says, And it shall be as a chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. And these protests of these various nationalism, and of course, people and they having, of course, faith in their government, they're going to. Go back to their natural state, which is back to being tribalism and such. Okay, where people stick with their own and such, right? And not and they'll be like what you have it today, where many people are so called <laughs> um, in unity and such, right? That's going to be a thing of naught, okay? So, Tarn, you have Pana in Hebrew. Which is to turn, to turn toward, okay, or from our way, okay. People are going to turn towards their own. And they're going to uh, basically turn away from those that are not their own, not of their specific nation or nationality, their lineage and such. All right. Let's say um, go to the. Uh, the book of Matthew 24. See what Yahweh Shai said, which is who the world even calls Jesus Christ. His true name is Yahweh Shai in Hebrew. Yahweh, of course, is the Most High name. And of course, is the father of Yahweh Shai. Okay. So it says here. In Matthew 24, which, of course, the, the various disciples asked about um, when would be the sign of thy coming at the end of the world, meaning the end of the age, the signs of the coming. So Yahweh Shai actually gave us various signs and what we should know of his time and when he's coming back, his second coming, to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, okay, and bring destruction and you know, loss or death to all of his enemies enemies of course of the only own nation which reject them the two-thirds and of course the rest of the, the actual heathen nations outside of the covenants all right so it says here which that chiefly is esau edom and then the rest of the heathen nations okay so it says here matthew 24 and 4 it says and yahweh shot answer and said unto them take heed that no man deceive ye deceive you for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. It says, See that ye not, see ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? And we see all of these different various things occurring. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay? You know, scriptures tell you of uh, the various uproars of the people. Okay? Let's see if it's uh, up or. I 
definitely spelled that wrong. So I can't. Okay, let me see if I can. Let me see. I can't find what I'm actually looking for. If it is, but. Of course, I brought up precepts already. Uh, uh, Lord willing, like I said, these different precepts, you always got to go over these more and more. You know, so that memory can stick you know, in your head. So it's locky, of course. And then I'm going to continue on and, and basically finish it off. I mean, I could probably, you know, do the spirit, just go to Google. Uproar. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. The water y'all about shimmer 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 cooking dust. It's uh second edge of chapter nine. Get that I saw right now. For now. Let's see. Second edge of chapter nine. And one. Alright. It says here. It says, and he answered me in me then and said measure though the time diligent in yourself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made you know that yahweh shai made everything through the sanctions of the most high yahweh okay so it says therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of those things those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning okay and you know these things are speak the pro prophecies are speaking as in Habakkuk you know, speaks of in that book, you know, they're not tearing. So you know, we know that we're in the times of the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? So out of one Nawa Yahweh Shai. Okay. It's just that's our Lord in Hebrew. Yahweh Shai. So I'm gonna go back to That uh, address I was in. We was the 13th chapter, and probably called me to finish it off, off <laughs> or off. And and it says here again, it says, "In the time shall be when 
these things shall come to pass and signs shall happen which I showed thee before and then shall my son be declared and when thou sawest as this as a man ascended all right and it says and when all people hear his voice every man shall in their own land leave the battle and they have one against another all right and that's basically it what i'm bringing out in this particular lesson now we got to measure the time builds in yourself and understand that yahweh is on his way we have to be well prepared of course preparing ourselves before the day of judgment Okay, so that we can be counted worthy in the sight of Yahweh. Shy, okay? So, with that, I'm just going to close out. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Rashad, Bashim, Kurt Production, the Lawrence, the Elders, and Pastor, the Great Millstone. Well, peace and salutation, of course, always to the election. Shalom.